Hello Plastic Model Builders, it's me, Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and this is the Italeri V22 Osprey in 148th scale. So what we are going to be doing with this model, as you can see, I have sanded it, I've put some uh, putty and filler on this, well, this is going to be fun, we're going to paint this model, we're going to put some details on it, so just watch, that way you can see all the model making madness as we attempt to make this model look pretty, and I do things I don't normally do. So, first off, we've got these little guys that go on here. The only way to put them on is to just kind of line them up the best you can. Put your glue on, hold them in place. Hope for the best, expect the worst. And you see how I'm doing this? I've got just a really big dab of glue. That way I hope that capillary action, however you want to say it, works its way in. So we've got those two wings on the side you've got a couple of antennas that go up here on the top there's a big glob of glue and just place this thing just right it's got little uh, areas where they're supposed to go so that's all you have to do I did put on that uh, little round little piece there that you see that goes all the way across just underneath the wheel well uh, these little antenna pretty hard there's four of these two on each side same with these little guys right here just place them on the best you can and put your little glue down uh, we've got this that goes right up front there's kind of no marks for that give it your best guess and give it a go of course you have your next part the other one right there and you've got this thing it's like a hell hook kind of deal in case it's making a landing I guess maybe on a carrier as an emergency somehow I'm not sure and we got another little flap guy here I don't know why they have so many of these things I'm sure somebody can explain them to me but they have them and oh you just have to line them up the best you can like I said some of them have little area marked out where these things are supposed to go so just do the best that you can do now these right here, it, it looks like they're kind of going in wrong, like you would think the curved part goes on. But nope, it's the flat spot, so you have to line up the flat spot as best you can. And the curved part will be on the outside. Uh, that's how I did mine, and it worked out. Now you see me using a little bit of a putty there to hold this on. That was the best thing I could do. And I just pull off the putty once it's kind of set there of course yes or antenna it seemed like it was never going to end all these little little pieces like I said if you get a little bit of dab of glue on there and just kind of stick it it will stick don't do too much because you know extra glue makes things come right back off so you see I had small antenna there little littler ones here's another little one these are the highlight of this model. Not really, just the pain part of it. In addition to doing the filler and the sanding that you see that I did all along the exterior part there of the uh, wing tops that met up with the fuselage body of this. So I've got my window pre-masked. I'm just going to sit it down there. I'm using, that's right, thin cement because it will not uh, fog anything but it will bond and this window did fit fairly well so I was quite shocked I made it look pretty for more model making madness so I'm painting the window black that's right um, I gave it a light coat um, I will go back earlier and give it another little coat I, I did something to the black paint it was really thin that way it could be kind of translucent so it would see through We've got the tips of our, not the tips of the props, but where the props will sit. That goes black as well. You know, you have your cones and of course your actual propellers. I do these in a couple of ways. You know, I just give a light coat, mist coat, get the coat started. Then I go over it again. And I'm not concerned with making this consistently even because when you think about it, if it's uneven, it's going to give it natural looking weathered wear you know how some spots are light and some spots are dark uh, this is the primer coat I'm putting on I'm using Tamiya's primer here 
their aircraft primer it works really great it's like lacquer based and that's also what I'm going to use for the paint is decanted uh, Tamiya paint it's uh, their medium grays and the interesting thing about their medium grays in my opinion are they look blue which is perfect for this aircraft and this is something you rarely see me do because I don't really I don't believe in pre-shading. Um, I did it because I looked at pictures of this aircraft and used aircraft look really, really dirty. Uh, I was shocked, but so I did a little bit of pre-shading on the panel lines, just going through this, just like you see me doing. I feel like it turned out very well how I did this. You just see, just carefully go through each little thing uh, right there you see the uh, tip of the propeller and I did that in various coats as well same way some gloss and some flat just to give it a little bit of a different type of texture which I think was the best thing I could do right here these tips the wings they do get painted black so I had to figure out kind of where that went just slowly do that just like this that's how that goes at your wheel of course three of those paint those black I did that all around and then you can paint the inside of the hub a little bit later whenever you want because I already had the black out I'm just choosing to use that color now worked out perfect for me and how I was doing to paint this model so you see that I've got one coat there on that just giving it a type of coat I'm not worried about evenness with the paint and even the same with this just little spurts here and there even this nope so here we go this is the base coat it's like a lighter type of gray but you will see it has a hue of a blue to it and you'll see that more predominant on the bottom uh, this model was a little hard to spray paint due to its curves and of course the wings uh, you have to find a way to get under there now you see as I put this on that panel of lime shading goes away if you do a little bit of a thick coat there which is what I'm doing uh, because this is lacquer based paint and it's two-tone it blends really well and it atomizes really nicely out of the airbrush so you get more realistic feathering instead of feathering that might look too big uh, at the bottom with you know like more rounded dots to it um, it was a little hint somebody had told me and I was trying to do two-tone on something else and they're like use lacquer paints and I looked at this model and I realized well that is exactly what I had done I did not do it for that model though because I didn't want to I just did what I wanted this one does have the locker paints and as well you see that blue hue um, we're going to give this another little coat here another light coat after the fact these are landing gear doors, of course. Don't have to do much with those other than make your landing gear doors look pretty as well. So you got a couple of them just like that. They go on the underside, so we're going to put those on later. But right now, this is the upper side of this. And just had to make sure how I got it. And, of course, the underside. Just pretty much going over with whatever paint I have in there. Random patterns just to give it like I said that extra look and of course you got this covered you got to do some masking so I'm going to wrap that up pretty good the sides there just go around it twice it was the easiest way I could think of to do it and then take some little putty jam that in there make that look good that way you've got everything inside I'm using like a stick it, it worked you know you just have to make do with what you've got and then just paint this same way this is also going to be two-tone this is the first thing that we're going to spray paint two-tone so I do kind of the top and then I will do the bottom as you see me doing right now and those also looked very dirty so by the way in the uh, next video we're gonna probably finish this up and do some wonderful weathering and decals although there are not a lot of decals uh, the ones on the propellers are junk, but I use them anyway just to show you guys what they look like and how junky they can be. I can do another one of these later and put myself through this torture.
Um, so here's the final bottom of this. Turns out good. And again, just using whatever's left in my airbrush that I barely mixed up enough to coat some of this just in random patterns because I feel it works great. So now you see this hue. I remember doing an F18 a long time ago in this color and I painted it and I was like, what the heck? This does not look gray. This looks blue and I was not a happy camper. At Artamia Colors, they do look like this out of the can, although the top looks gray. It comes out more blue. I, I can't explain why, but it, this type of blue worked for this model. Was, I think they're light and they're medium grays, aircraft grays. And you just see me getting everything here that I can get. Now on the top, I had masked off part of the top and then masked off other things because remember I black based the top of that. And you see how I just feather this in? It's hard to get there. You got to get yourself under the wing and over the wing just like that and make it really dark. And it just kind of will slowly cover those panel line accents and when it dries, it looks perfect. At least for me it did and I was very happy with the finished product on this thing. Finishing that in the cell there, you see you get to one side, the top, just hold it carefully, peel your tape off, got a lot of windows going on here, as you can see, I did my best, as we all know, windows are not the easiest thing in the world, got to scrape a little bit of paint off of there, not a big deal. Just use a toothpick to unscratch your window. Get to your other side there. There we go. Make it all look pretty. Got your other side. Just like that. Like I said, a lot of windows, round ones. You got your canopy glass, radars. All that good stuff. Just remember I said this stuff was hard to get to. At least the glue set good and nothing came off there. Didn't lose much of anything. And the plane is really starting to look like an Osprey. And you can see the very hints of the uh, shading I did. So coming up on the next one. Like I said we're going to do weathering. Uh, complete the model and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And as always... Until next time, see ya!